there, Stasha here. I'm here today to tell you the top five reasons why we hate tampons. I'm a period coach. I've been listening to a lot of stories from a lot of women and I've talked to a lot of experts. So I've compiled at least the top five reasons that have affected me the most and I've noticed it affected the women in my group the most. So number one is that they are huge contributors to yeast infections, bacterial infections, thrush, the chemicals that are in them disrupt your beautiful flora and fauna in your universe and lead to things like yeast infections and then bacterial infections. So number one, the absolute discomfort and annoyance and grossness of all of those infections and a lot of times come from these tampons. Number two is the chemicals. The chemicals, yes, lead to things like yeast infections, but they also lead to your body absorbing the chemicals that are in cotton, even organic cotton. It's not a food crop, so you have to keep in mind that organic is different for foods versus non-food items. Uh, and organic doesn't mean chemical free either. Sorry. So cotton does have chemicals in it, even the, um, uh, the organic cotton. Um, there's processing chemicals involved and your vaginal canal is very absorbent. That's what it is. It's an intake system. So it intakes those chemicals. Not to mention the chemicals that go out into the land, into our landfills, because again, tampons, the plastic that comes with the tampons, if you get an applicator, even if you get applicator free, they come individually wrapped in plastic. So all of the plastic that's involved in tampons, um, the packaging, right? All of that stuff. So tampons have a lot of chemicals in the making process, in the creating process, in the packaging process, and then in the U process, and then in the disposal process. They're not these little sweet, innocent things that we may think they are. Uh, and they release a lot of chemicals into the air once they're in the landfills. I'm going to let you listen to the Red Circle Summit because there's way more information and detail into that. Um, but it's a big deal and it's super affecting our planet and ourselves and our bodies and our hormones and our cycles. So please tune in and check out more on that. Um, tampons are really, really abrasive and really, really absorbent. So they actually suck up the good juices, the cervical fluid that's there, even during your period, that's helping protect you. Your immune system is pretty low, actually, during your period. Your vagina has its own immune system. And a lot of those things, those juices are there to help protect you and to help protect your body and your immune system. And they are, unfortunately, sucked right out of you with tampon. A tampon does not discriminate between blood and juices and they're they're really bad at that <laughs> um they are also abrasive so this is something that comes up a lot a lot of times when we're in a taboo free zone women say the things they've thought they've never actually said out loud and uh, i try to lead the the charge here uh, I have often said that I found that I felt like pulling a tampon out of me was like ripping me or ripping part of me out with it. And it turns out that I wasn't wrong about that. They actually have components to them. Again, watch the summit to get all into the nitty gritty of this, but they actually do leave behind little micro cuts in the vaginal wall and they do pull out um, cellular tissue and whatnot. So they actually are kind of pulling out part of you with them and they're leaving behind abrasions and cuts on the way out. So uh, yeah, ew, gross, painful, ugh. Okay, again, we have a lower immune system during this time. So imagine putting a cut in some place that's already got a low immune system. Not a good idea, right? It's like cutting your hand and then shaking hands with the entire world probably not great. Um, okay. And then number five is that they're expensive. They might be cheap to get one at a time or a little box here and there, but that adds up over the course of your lifetime. Whereas things like a cup will last you 
maybe a lifetime, depending on how old you are now. I had a cup from, uh, I had the Keeper. I got it in, I want to say 1999. And I had that thing all the way until um, 2015, maybe 16. I moved five times in 2015 and I moved again almost monthly in 2016 uh, and I lost it somewhere along the way. I lost it. Didn't stop working. It wasn't that it wasn't being used. It wasn't that it was had fallen apart or gotten unusable. I just, I lost it, which I still kick myself because it was the keeper and they're hundred percent natural rubber and they're reusable forever and ever and ever. And they're great for the environment. So anyway, I was really sad about that. Um, but now I'm getting a new fancy Bluetooth enabled cup, uh, that's experimental and I'll let you know how it goes when I get it. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, so much cheaper to get a cup over the course of your lifetime than to get tampons. In fact, uh, if you buy, say, $10 worth of tampons once a month, you have paid for your cup within three months, right? Most of them are around the $30 range. So um, you're definitely paying for it within the course of a year, um, especially if you're a nice person. I still carry tampons with me to help out women in need in public restrooms. Um, I should probably just start carrying cups with me. <laughs> <laughs> but they take a little bit of learning and a little bit of practice and they're not super good on the fly for somebody who's never used one before. <laughs> but, you know, just saying, you will save so much more money by going with a natural, reusable, eco-friendly solution than you will by using disposables. So, finances. All right. So, one, chemicals in the body and our land. Two, yeast infections, bacterial infections. Three, pulling out the good juices. For pulling out you and leaving cuts and abrasions behind, damage to your yoni and your vaginal canal. Five, expense. Yep, those are the top five ones that myself and our taboo free group of ladies have talked about. If you want to learn more, listen to the Red Circle Summit. Just click the link and find out more about that. And I will see you on the inside.